That place is far. <laughs> Dude, you're an MC and you're dancing in Barcada? Hey, man. I'm just built different. I gotta ruin it. Uh, all right, all right. Let's give it up for the moment you've all been waiting for. Our founder performance is a Filipino-American singer, songwriter, and record producer. And his song has been featured on the K-drama, You Are My Destiny. Let's give it up for our headliner, Jeff Bernat. Let's go! We are live. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear us okay? Everything good? All right. Can we get a confirmation in the chat if we are good? Okay, awesome. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Bernard. This is my producer, Jay Bird. We are in Los Angeles, California, where it is 85 degrees today. Yeah, it's warm. It's warm, beautiful. The sun is shining. It's a Sunday. Um, bless another week. Yeah. And bless another day to do this for you. That's right. And uh, yes, we're going to do some original songs for y'all. We wish we could do this in person for you guys, but uh, until then, this is how we have to do our shows. But we're gonna have fun regardless, all right? Thank you guys for having us, it is an honor. We are thankful and blessed to be able to be here with you guys tonight. And um, yeah, let's get it started. this girl that I met at the coffee shop and it goes a little something like this so the other day I was chilling at Starbucks down the street and I saw a lady with some books and coffee and she was so beautiful with the headphones and glasses on I didn't know what to do or say Hoping she'd come right through my way It's those moments It's those regrets When you wish you could rewind The times that you messed up yeah. I didn't even say hello I didn't even catch her name She looked right at me, smiled and walked away And I think that I am falling for the girl at the coffee shop Don't know her name, but it's her that I am thinking of Never would have guessed that I'd fall for a stranger Never thought that I'd fall in love with a girl at the coffee shop Yeah With a girl at the coffee shop, yeah Look so I went back and I didn't see her there Just the smell of chocolate and caramel In the air I'm sitting down As time passes by with questions and whys And sadness and sighs And no one replies Seventy minutes have 
past have you seen a girl with headphones and some books may i ask i know i should have approached her with the chance that i had or at least asked for a number that i can type in my keyboard huh all of a sudden beauty walks in with her headphones on and her books in a hand Walks up to the register, cinnamon dolce latte with a cookie on the side and uh, make that drink grande. I'm slowly walking up to her as I approach the register, looking at the book she has. Mitchell Bums, the author, and I say, Excuse me, miss, hi, my name is Jeffrey. I'll get the same thing, but first, make this girl's venti, cuz I am falling for the girl at the coffee shop. Don't know her name, but it's her that I am thinking of. Never would have thought that I'd fall for a stranger. Never thought that I'd fall in love with a girl at the coffee shop. Yeah. So much. I wish we could see what everyone's saying in the chat right now, but we can't see anything but ourselves. Um, Shout out to YouTube Live. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool to actually see the YouTube link. Is there a YouTube link? But uh, how does it sound, guys? Does it sound okay? Can you hear my vocals okay? Um, people in this uh, the committee chat? You guys are there. Hello, hello. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's good. They all left. It's so good. Oh, so good. All right. Ready? I'll send you the YouTube link. Oh, okay. All right. Let's pick it up a little bit. You ready, Jack? Sexy lips when you talk to me, but there's another little thing about you. It's the way that we connect on this mentally. Cause you fly from them, other people treat me like another equal person that just wants to hang with you. You know you're cute, but you're just searching for another individual who basically wants to vibe with you. First two, uh, I like how you take your pictures, and I like how you sip your wine. I like how you study scriptures, I read on your zodiac sign. I like your classy outfits, and the way that you do your hair. I like how you look in glasses. I like how you say your prayers. The way you do the things that you do makes me just want to get to know you better now. The little things that you're just into. I feel that we should be together Cause you're flying from them Other people treat me like another equal person That just wants to hang with you You know you're cute but you're just searching for Another individual who basically wants to fight with you Take it to the bridge cause I am not the type to walk away No, no And you don't have to trip cause it's okay Whoa, 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 oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Said person that just wants to hang with you. Yeah, you're 
another individual Cause it's because you're flyer than the other girls And I'm just another dude that wants to chill and maybe hang with you Say cute, but you just want a man that's down for you Girl, I just wanna fight with you Thank you, thank you yeah, Let me fix this mic real quick Oh, snap, oh, snap Yeah, let's move it to the center a little bit You'll have a little bit more leeway all right. Thank you. All right, all right. So see the chat now hello everyone hello um who we got in here hello violet hello justin oh violet says shout out to keys for vamping during this oh yeah you know this is how we do <laughs> yes hello um chanel Alyssa. thank you guys for joining us we appreciate you guys uh, we actually are gonna do a couple of requests that the committee requested to us earlier to perform. So um, we're gonna do a couple of these songs, like a little medley. This is a song from my first album, just like the last song from my first album, which is coming up on 10 years. Whoa. What's up? So feedback? No. Okay. You hear? Yeah, All right, we're good. All right, guys. This one is for the lady that requested this song. Take you back a little bit. Did you notice me looking at you? All the way from the other side of the room. Now, honey, you caught my eye from a mile away. Was on my way leaving, but now I might have to stay with you. There is just something about you, and maybe it's the way you walk, girl. But I just cannot figure out why you give me butterflies when I simply just look at you. Why must I fall for you? Ooh, oh, why I can't think of words when I simply approach you. I don't know what to do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you so much. That was for you. This is another song that was requested. And 
this, this is one of my newer songs produced by this guy right here. Um, we released this song back in 2018. And this is when I was going through my transition of being in love and uh, going through a heartbreak. So this was the first song that kind of started it with my writing of just like heartbreak music. I'm not heartbroken anymore, so <laughs> we good over here. <laughs> but this song goes like this. If there was a picture perfect, it would be us. I could be across the world and I would still have your trust. Don't even got a question if I'm the one giving up. But you keep saying you've had enough. So tell me where to go, cause I have nowhere to hide. I just want you by my side. But do I still have your heart? Do I still crush your mind? Have we grown apart? Should we even try? I still keep your picture frame on the side of my bed Acting like I'm good but I can no longer pretend Keeping myself busy trying to find something to do But every time I try somehow it brings me back to you So what do I do? I don't know, I don't know, no, no. Thank you. That was for you guys. Shout out to the committee. Shout out to your college for having us. We appreciate you guys so much. Let's see what they're saying here. Sorry, let me switch back. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, yep, right. Okay. Bring this window back. All right, cool. Awesome. No more heartbreaks. Well, we got one more heartbreak song for y'all. I apologize. <laughs> but yes, no more heartbreaks. I'm still trying to find my boo though, you know? Still trying to find the love of my life. I know she out, she out there somewhere in Illinois, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yes, this is from one of my newer projects called She Loves Me Not. Um, it's one of my favorite songs from the project. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Like you go through like phases in your life where you feel like you're just in love with someone and you've been with them for so long and you think you know them and then things just change and you have to like kind of move on, but then you still feel a certain way about them as time passes uh, and like you lose communication with them. And um, I wrote this song because uh, I just wanted her to hear this somewhere, like if she was in a boba shop or a restaurant or something. And I wanted, because I wasn't able to like hit her up anymore. She moved on, she went to another guy and like they're in love, they're engaged now. And um, I wrote this song because I always want her to hear this every time, like she, she can't avoid it. But this song is called Still. And uh, I just want her to like know, I mean, at this time in my life when I was writing it, like if you're wondering like what I'm doing, like I've just, I've been still trying to get over this. And this song is called Still. We last spoke. I still wonder what you're up to after all the shit we've been through. And I've been spending a lot of time drinking and smoking, hoping it's up to the thought of you in my head. So if you're out there somewhere. And if you still even care, possibly still questioning what is he doing? 
I've been trying to find a way to numb all this pain Since you've been away I don't want to feel anymore And there's probably people telling you that I'm doing fine Just taking my time Although it appears that I'm strong it still hurts There's been a lot of nights where I feel alone Needing someone to talk to Cause I'm just trying to get through And I've been spending a lot of money on things that I don't need Hoping that I'll feel new but I can't get you out of my head So if you're out there somewhere And if you still even care Possibly still questioning What is he doing? I've been trying to find a way to numb all this pain Since you've been away I don't want to feel anymore There's probably people telling you that I'm doing fine Just taking my time Although it appears that I'm strong It still hurts Thank you, thank you Cool. Well, guys, we have come to our last song of the evening. This song is uh, kind of crazy because this was the last song I actually expected to blow up in Asia. I wrote this song when I was really young. I was 19 years old. Um, and it got really big in Korea because like a member of a K-pop group posted this or well, used this song in like a Korean reality show and uh yeah for some reason this is the song that like everyone loves out there uh last song I would ever expect it's kind of like the cheesiest song I've ever written too I was very young but I can't complain man God has definitely blessed our lives because of this song we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for this song right Nope, you're right. Um, so yes, uh, this is the last song for you guys. Thank you so, so much for having us. We love y'all and we hope to be able to perform in front of you guys in person one day. So without any further ado, this song is called Call You Mine. That I hit up you. Something. We talk for a little while. You asked me if I could roll through. So we met up, got food, and we spent time till the night was through. Can I call you my own? And can I call you my lover? Call you my one and only girl. And can I call you my everything? Call you my baby. You're the only one who runs my world. First two. Uh, I remember this night we had outside on the grass, us two. We were gazing up at stars, we smiled as my eyes only turned towards you. I knew. There was no one else I needed and my life's never felt this way And I wasn't too sure if you might I was nervous but I had to say Can I call you my own and can I call you my lover Call you my one and only girl 
And can I call you by everything? Call you my baby. You're the only one who runs my world. Can I call you my own? And can I call you my lover? Call you my one and only girl. And can I call you my everything? Call you my baby. You're the only one who runs my world. Thank you so much. Salamat. Shout out to all my Filipinos out there. We out here. Um, but thank you guys so much for having us. And I think we're going to do a Q&A now. Appreciate y'all. It was an honor performing for you guys. That was a lot of fun. We haven't performed in a while. We haven't done a live show in person in almost two years. That's right. So we just warming up. And hopefully we can come out there and uh, do this live for you guys with the band. Move with the camera. Move the camera. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys are live? Hello. Not me at all, of Gordon. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Hi, how are you doing, Jeff? Good, how are you? Oh, man. We're, after that one? Oh, I want to call it a little key. Anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> all right, go. Uh, thank you for that, for Four Horns. Uh, we hope you're all having a good night so far. And so we're going to have a little fun little Q&A with Jeff. Uh, so we're going to be taking questions from the audience. So um, if you have any questions, send them through the chat, please. Okay. Um, you can start okay, now. so... Jeff, the first question we got for you is, uh, what inspires you? What inspires me? Yes. Um, what inspires me is my family, my friends. Um, just knowing that like God has a plan for me to be a blessing to other people's lives. My fans, um, I know that this is like bigger than myself, and like I was put in this position to do something bigger than like what I desire. Um, it's to like touch people's lives and help them go through situations that they're going through, whether it's heartbreak or being in love or like just going through a depressing time in their lives. Um, I just, I get inspired by knowing that I'm helping people, you know, somewhere around the world. And, um, you know, my influences as well, like Music Soul Child, Justin Timberlake, uh, a lot of artists, Usher, you know, they inspire me, and this guy inspires me to keep going. It's my brother, right here. We've been making music for over a decade now, and uh, oh, yeah, man, you inspire me too, bro. <laughs> you inspire me too, man. So yeah, um, everything. What inspires you, man? Hey, you know, uh, pretty much everything you said, and and just um, just being a, around a lot of beautiful people that inspires me, and. Uh, you know, even though there's a lot of craziness going on, that's not going to stop all the beautiful things from uh, getting created, man. And, you know, I think we're just a small increment of that, just, um, you know, a continuation of it. So I'm, I'm blessed as well. Definitely. Yep. All right. Yeah. So we have a lot of comments here. Um, so someone asked, Tyler, Tyler asked, what's your favorite part of songwriting? My favorite part of songwriting is um, finding the melodies um, and just filling that in with like a story. Um, it's like a whole process, but it's it's really fun. But yeah. my favorite part of songwriting is just being able to just like go through situations and just like put my emotions into a song. Um, like, yeah, it's it's just a beautiful like process because you know that like what, what you were feeling at that moment is going to be how do you say this um it's going to be you just like, never it's going to be here like forever yeah. through a song once you lay it down that's yeah. it so yeah man that's true yeah all right uh we have a question from justin not me uh who are some artists you look up to 
like any role models? Go ahead, you can start that one. Oh man, well, I started out as a, as a piano player, of course, as you see me performing with this guy on, the, on and I'm on the keys, but uh, before I got into production seriously, I was really into a lot of jazz artists. Um, I was into Herbie Hancock and um, Ahmad Jamal and a lot of classical composers as well, and some smooth jazz composers too. But um, recently I've been really into a lot of producers that have come up and did some really awesome things. Uh, D. Mile is one of those guys that has been inspiring me lately. Uh, he produced our friend Joyce Rice's album, and he's on his Silk Sonic album that just came out. So, you know, I'm inspired by a lot of people just too numerous to mention. Yeah, for me, um, it was those artists that I mentioned earlier, like Music Soul Child, Justin Timberlake, Usher, uh, yeah, Voice to Men, Brian McKnight, just a bunch of R&B artists. Yeah. Yeah. Love those guys. Yep. Nice, nice. Um, so two people asked the same question, um, both from Marianne and Erica. Uh, how has your Filipino identity impacted you as an artist? Oh man, that's such a hard question. Um, One of a kind. <laughs> well, I think there's pros and cons to that. Mm. I think you know it's harder to be a Filipino artist in the United States. Unless you're like Bruno Mars and her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, I think, I don't know. I wouldn't change it for anything, you know? Like, I, I love representing being Filipino. Um, I'm very, like, proud of, you know, my culture and heritage and our our uh, tradition and you know our values um and our faith in god and you know i think that that's definitely something that i take with me when i make music and i go on stage and um yeah it has just taught me to i mean my parents raised us in like the filipino way you know um and of course they wanted me to be a nurse but <laughs> i'm just like nah <laughs> i got a bigger <laughs> purpose than this yeah um and yeah so yeah i just if i if that answered the question but yeah i i, I love being filipino love being filipino Pinoy boy he's <laughs> <laughs> uh, filipino at heart i've been to filipino for uh 12 years now yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. he'd be, he be eating pinak bit <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even eat. Nah, he's he's lying. He's, he's really he's really saying that because I had a, a kind of a bad experience thinking that it was a uh, Lysol yeah. on on a pork. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna tell you this story real quick. Yeah, man. So we were making a gentleman on. approach back in 2011. 11. My mom cooked pinak bit for us. I don't even eat that, but she gave it to Jaybird. Had no idea what it was. He had no idea what it was. I had it on a fork. He he started eating it, and then he was like, "Ooh." I think there's still soap on the fork, bro. Yeah, Lysol. I thought it was Lysol. <laughs> and he was and he was talking about the bitter melon. Yes. <laughs> on Pinak Bit. And I was dying at the story I tell all my friends. And it's yeah, just man. hilarious. It's it's a timeless story that never gets old. You know, other than that, <laughs> other than that, he'd be eating like everything else. C Sig, Adobo, like Yeah. His, his mom's a really good cook, man. Yeah. Just, this shout out to man. shout out to Kambapangas. Kambapangas, man. Oh Are my you got gosh. Any Kambapangas in there? In here? No, they're probably all Bisaya and Ilocano. But you know, <laughs> are the best cooks in the Philippines. Hey, man. Ask anybody. You could ask me. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm a Filipino that doesn't like bitter melon, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't them. either. <laughs> I don't either. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, kind of relating to that, uh, what is your favorite uh, Filipino food or food in general? Shit. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, hey, let's go down the list one time. You know what I mean? Let's, uh, <laughs> Pardon me. I'm, I'm sorry. I got a few babies. <laughs> um, I love seasick. I like adobo. I love singing gong. I love beef steak. Yeah, that's, you know, I could go on, but yeah, what's yours, man? You know, the thing that comes to mind right now, um, I don't know if there's any, well, no, because you guys are in Chicago, but there's a spot that we love to go to right outside the Bay Area. Uh, our Bass player friend, his family has a spot. 
It's a Filipino fusion food place called Papa Herbs. And they have like cystic fries and tacos and just, it's just, man, it's so good. But they take the traditional Filipino food and fuse it with American food. And they're one of the older ones to, first ones to do that actually. Been around for about 15 years. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Um, do you prefer writing songs on your own or collaboration with other artists? I do prefer writing songs on my own for myself, for myself, but I don't, I'm not opposed to working with other people for collaborations, but when it's like my song, like my own song, I prefer writing it because it's my story, you know? Um, yeah, but I, I, I love co collaborating. I mean, I could speak for this guy too. He loves producing on his own, but he loves collaborating as well. Yeah, and usually, you you know, your initial ideas are going to be those lyrics. And, yeah. you know, fortunately, somebody like you can depend on someone like me to help you with that foundation that goes under the lyrics, the musical foundation. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the process that I love, man. That's how Just Vibe got written. Yeah. Jeff came up with a melody and, you know, I made the beat. Then after that, the lyrics just started flowing. Nice. I feel you, feel you. So, did you guys always want to be into music, or did you have any other plans? Well, he's been... A, I, are, have you been a musician all your life? You know, I didn't really know I was going to do music seriously until high school, when just a bunch of really awesome jazz musicians that were must, the same age as me were like prodigies, and that, that made me want to do it. It was like so unbelievable. So, that's when I told my parents, yeah, I need to try to cram and learn a bunch of you know, theory and music and stuff, just so I could go to college for it. And it took about two years, but that was when I decided. Um, I was always a singer because my mom's a singer. My older sister's a singer. Uh, I didn't take it seriously. I was like in choir and stuff, though, when I was younger and in high school. But I was more of a dancer. Um, I did like a lot of choreography and I had like danced all my life. Um, so yeah and that's just part of being filipino i feel but <laughs> i didn't know i was going to do music i really didn't know i was going to do music like this like i i thought i was going to be into dance but um yeah blessing in disguise i tore my acl dancing and uh i feel like that was god telling me like okay you should go time, to, time to uh focus on singing and songwriting because this is what's gonna be your career that's yeah. gotta be Nice, nice. Um, do you have any advice for any uh, uh, aspiring musicians or artists in general? Yeah, <laughs> somebody sent swag up, you know. Making up words now. My advice? Uh, you started out, bro. You know, I always, this is a reminder to myself, and I'm sure Jeff can attest to this, but, you know, if you start off with something like this, just... I mean, just really know that you love doing it, no matter what kind of situation that you're in, you know, don't do it to, to get rich or make a whole bunch of money, like do it because you really love it. And to be honest, as long as you take care of that gift, whatever it is in arts or anything, uh, it's going to take care of you right back. So that's just how it goes. It's, it's, it's give and take. And we're fortunate to share what we share with the rest of the world and, and, um, I get more pleasure in that more than any kind of uh, financial thing. So yeah, yeah, make sure you love it. Yeah, um, with me, I feel like having the experience that I have now in the last ten years of my career. I my advice to people that are curious about making this a career is just you have to know what you're doing it for. Like if. If your goal is to do this and you want to do it because you want to make a lot of money, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Um, it's not going to be a guarantee that you're going to live a, a career of music and make a lot of money. That's never a guarantee. But the people that love it will do it regardless. Um, money comes like, you know, if it's meant to come for you. Um, so I say, if you're trying to do music, do it because you love it and money will follow that. That's right. Yeah. Be beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're starting to run out of time. So uh, the final question we have for you is, do you have anything to say to our audience as a final remark? 
Um, no, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for hitting us up and giving us this opportunity to play our music for y'all. I mean, I know there's a lot of other artists you could have booked, but thank you guys for, um, you know, choosing us. Like we are truly honored like, to be able to do this for you guys. And um, like I said earlier, hopefully we can come out and do it in person one day. You know? Absolutely. So awesome. you guys, yeah. I pray that you guys be safe. I pray that you guys uh, stay healthy. Take, yeah, stay, stay healthy and, you know, stay out of trouble. It's a crazy world right now. And just, you know, yeah, stay safe. And we're going to make it past this pandemic. And we're going to get back to normal sooner or later. That's right. Yes, I. No, I'm just super. I'm I'm super thankful uh, as well. And you know, we've been on this journey for for quite a while. And you know, me being the, I guess you could say, this dude's right hand man to see everyone that we've seen be affected by his music in a real way. It, I I just you know, what what more can we ask for? Yeah. Yeah. Like. And I just want to say this too, like if a Filipino kid from Reno, Nevada, a small town out in the middle of nowhere that came from a middle class family, uh, parents are immigrants. Um, if I can do this, you guys can do anything. You guys can do it too. Uh, I didn't grow up with rich parents. We didn't grow up having money. Um, Same here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but we just we just had a passion for music and i feel like god and the universe aligned everything for us because he knew that he could use us in, in ways that people needed us and uh, i feel like once you just kind of surrender to that and you you allow like the universe to make moves in your life and take control in your life yep. you can do anything that's right know? that's yeah. right so, yeah blessings to y'all yeah man keep it going thank you All thank, right. you. thank you so much for coming man yeah, sure. It's been great. Thank Same you, guys. guys. Social media, this is Jaybird. Oh, yeah. I'm on all the platforms. This yeah. is Jaybird.com. This is Jaybird. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Burnett. <laughs> Jeff Burnett, you know. <laughs> yeah. Follow us. Hit us up. Say what's up. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. God bless y'all. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone out for coming out tonight. We had a great time emceeing and entertaining you all. A big round of applause to all of our performers tonight who made this night unforgettable. And before we sign off, let's announce the winners of Fact V Show, the Tapestry Giveaway, and the ASA gift cards. So the winners are uh, Firebird. Okay, these are, the, these are the Instagram handles at Firebird Phoenix, Phoenix Dimagiba. Adriana Clagg, or Adriana Clagg, James Angelo underscore nine, or James Angelo, Alyssa Valena, Alyssa Valena, and RC Milk T, RC Cruz. Thank you all for participating, and we will get in contact with the winners this week. Last but not least, please help us welcome our fact coordinators for some closing remarks. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone, it's, it's us, us again, again, your, your fact, fact coordinators, coordinators, Lorenzo and Micah. We'd like to again thank everyone who was part of this year's Filipino American Coming Together's Conference 2021. We'd like to give special thanks to the UIUC Center of Innovation in Teaching and Learning for allowing us to use their equipment and studio space. To the facilitators, the keynote speaker, the variety show performers, and our headliner, Jeff Burnett, the delegates, team fact volunteers, PSA board, and of course, our fact pack. 
Thank you for resonating with our theme, Lakas ng Pagsasama, Strength in Community. The lessons and connections you've acquired from the FACT conference don't end after this weekend. Please carry the experiences you've had from this conference into your personal and professional lives. All me and Lorenzo ask is for you to, utilize, to utilize this conference and your own communities to further your own lives and success. We are We're honored, honored to share, share our vision with you all. We all hope you all, all enjoyed FACT, FACT 2021. 2021. Thank you guys so much for the long wait. Um, we're figuring something out. And thank you, Micah and Renzo. And thank you again to everyone watching. We hope you enjoyed this year's FACT conference. But we're not done yet. We still have to announce the winners of the FACT X Avocado Merch collab. And they are... Ashley Yades. <laughs> Reggie Galanto. Hannah Bitt. Hannah Bitt. Bit. My bad. Hannah Bitt. Uh, Matthew Villalon <laughs> and Michaela Reyes. Please stay safe and stay healthy and have an amazing night. Let's go! Oh, what? Oh. Are, are we still live? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah! Thank you! Thank you for coming. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.